So it's about using your mobile phone or holding your mobile phone while, while, you're, while you're in the driver's seat and you're driving, uh, or a sat nav in the driver's seat, or a tablet, or any device that can send or receive data. So you can't pick up the phone to say, oh, I'm gonna be late for work today. You know, I'm, I'm running late, I'm in the queue of traffic, or are you texting someone when you're slowing down because it looks like an easy one? You can't do that sort of stuff. You can't start uh, bringing it out because someone's fell over it. I want to take a quick picture of that or get the video on them. You can't do these sort of things. You, you can't suddenly, oh, I'm in queue of traffic. No, one doesn't, no, no one's gonna look. I'm gonna get on the phone here and just look on the what's happening on, on, on Facebook, on the web. So these sort of things you can't do. So the law still applies if you're supervising someone obviously most people think about instructors but you've also got the parents and i've seen parents in the past not often i have to say i think i want to see it twice in 10 15 years i've been teaching where i look across and dad's on the phone while the, while the, while the son's driving it's illegal you can't do that you're you're in charge of the car even, even though they're driving the car you're in charge of them you're supervising them so you've got to be responsible so that's one reason another one is if you're driving and, 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 and I bet you're seeing someone doing this, you come to some traffic lights to go on red, and as soon as they go on red, they're on the phone. They're on the phone, aren't they? Texting or checking, checking Facebook. You can't do that either. Or another one, if you're slowing down and stopping in traffic and you've got the stop start on your engine, as you slow down and stop, the engine cuts out. You pick up your phone then. That's illegal too. So you're still in charge of the car. The engine's uh, actually off, but the car's still on. So you can't use the car, you can't use your, you can't use your phone at that point still. And then another one, and people don't realize this, driving along and the phone's in your hand, you know, at that point it's in your hand, isn't it? Why is it in your hand? Is it glued to your hand at that point? You can't let go of it. <laughs> if, if it's on offline mode or flight mode, it's still illegal. So put your phone down, put it in the glove compartment, forget about it and just drive sensibly. That's what you've got to do. And then you're not breaking the law. So there are exceptions, say for instance, an emergency and it's difficult to stop because you, you're worried about something's happening around you. So you might have to phone 999 or 112 to contact someone in the emergency. That's an exception, right? Because obviously you think about your safety at that point now, but you've got to do it safely, otherwise you're going to swerve off the road and hurt yourself. And then there are other exceptions when you're going to a drive-through restaurant. You, you can use the phone then, but you've got to obviously park up, secure the car, put it in neutral to, to contactless. That's when you can use it then. You can't use it when you're moving, okay? So that's important. One of the other things is, um, if you're going to use the remote parking. Now, I've never seen one of them work in action, but you're in charge of the car. Now, let me talk about the, the remote parking. Uh, and this is an exception. You've got to make sure it's a safe place to do it. And you're not using the phone for something else at the same time, like answering a call. You know, ignore everything else. The, your responsibility is to make sure it's a safe place to, to reverse in or to drive in using the using the um, remote parking that you've got in your car because you're lucky enough to have one. So make sure it's safe. Make sure you, you're doing it uh, in the shortest possible time. You're not taking forever to do things like, you, I'm gonna go around the corner a few times to actually get the best place. You've chose your place, you're gonna do your remote parking. Make sure it's safe. When you are using the handheld to, to do the remote parking, make sure that it's still okay. There's nothing gonna uh, be in the way for you reversing so if he is you're in control of the car remember don't suddenly just think oh that's going to do everything i can just close my eyes you know because you can guarantee someone's going to walk behind the car or walk in front of the car or a car's going to come around the corner so you've still got to look round. you've still got to be in charge of that car you know it's just because it's remote you're not suddenly giving your keys away and give, let someone park the car for you and one of the other exceptions is you can use the mobile phone if you're parked safe so you need to pull up side of road somewhere safe, I don't mean on WL lines, I don't mean on a bend, I've seen people do that, they pull over on junctions and they're on the phone like this, you know, quickly getting on with it, just pull over somewhere safe in a parking spot or in a, in a, in a car park or in, in a, in a designated, designated area that's nice and easy to park so people can get past you safely. And brake on, neutral, engine off and even take your keys out so that there's no confusion and then there's no there's no confusion if a police officer goes past sees you on the phone if they walk up 
keys are not in the car, the car they're, on, they're on the dashboard or on the side there okay so if you're going to use the phone and you're in the car pull over <laughs> and make sure it's a safe place to pull over because if you pull over on a dangerous spot don't be surprised if the police book you for it still using devices that are hands-free and you can see on the on the computer here you can use devices with hands-free access as long as you do not hold them at any time during usage hands-free access means using for example a bluetooth headset a voice command a dashboard holder on mat a windscreen mount a built-in sat nav the device must not block the windscreen at any point so if you're putting some kind of mount on the windscreen make sure it's not blocking the, the road ahead of you because if it is that's dangerous if you're losing control of the car because you're getting distracted by the sat nav or the the voice command that's also dangerous remember you're in control of the car so if you're going to use the devices you've got to be in control if you're using some kind of sat nav whether it be on your mobile whether it be built in if it's coming up with a, like a, a route change and you need to change it you need to pull over turn the engine off secure the car and change the the sat nav at that point don't start changing it while you're driving because you're liable at that point to get prosecuted if you get caught because you're not supposed to be using it while you're driving right? it's what it's, it's what we set up for you before you set off so oh, so as you can see penalties you can get six penalty points and a 200 pound fine if you hold and use a phone sat nav tablet or any device that can send or receive data while driving all right you can also lose your license if you pass in the last two years and you got yourself six penalty points so as a new driver it's quite important if you if you just pass your driving test you're on two-year probation so if you get six points within them two years you'll lose your license so if you're caught using that phone in your hand at a, at a traffic light or or or, or somewhere that's illegal that i've talked about then you're going to get six points and a 200 pound fine and a letter off the dvla saying you're revoking your license and as i mentioned a minute ago you can also get three points if you if your vision ahead is, is restricted and a good example is putting a mobile phone on a sat nav on a mount on the windscreen blocking your view so you can't see what's coming along or having a, or having a sat nav blocking your view on the window having a safe place so it's not blocking your view okay on a mount and then it's safe then isn't it if you've enjoyed this video by the way and it's helping you fantastic and uh, watch my next videos next time